What's going on YouTube? Chris with CB Auto Works. Welcome back to the garage. Got a quick mail call today. A couple shop cards and a trade I did. And then I found one of my grail kits. First one up today is actually a double from Ajax over at Rattle Can Shenanigans. And what we have here is a pair of very different style but equally awesome looking models. Y'all should go check out Ajax over there. He's doing some great work. Buddy, sorry this took so long to get your shout out out. I've had these cards and these stickers for probably about a month and a half now and I misplaced them. Finally found them. Sorry it took so long. And thank you for the kind words, my friend. Then we have my buddy Seamus over there in Ireland. Your card finally showed up, my friend. Seamus is an awesome modeler. He lights up every model, which is awesome. That light you see reflecting in that bumper light, that's not from the flash. That's from him lighting it up with LEDs. It's awesome. He does great work. Awesome detail. Y'all need to go check him out. Seamus, buddy, check out the date of when you sent this to me. And I received it December 13th. I know they call it snail mail for a reason, but eight months is a long time to get a letter in the mail. While I clean this up, I'll tell you about the trade I made. It was with Mike over at Mike's Mods and Customs. He's been looking for anything from model year 1972. I happen to have 1972 Chevy pickup, Coca-Cola edition. And he was also looking for some Hot Wheels. So I sent him those. He asked me what I was looking for. I said pretty much any third gen Camaro or Firebird or a Bandit Trans Am. Need one of those as well. He definitely had the kind of kit I was looking for. He offered up this AMT Camaro IROC Z. This kit is perfect for me. I love third gen Camaros and Firebirds. I had a couple Camaros myself. Never an IROC, but they were Z28s. My best friend had a flame red IROC with T tops. I always wanted a blue IROC with T-tops. So that's probably how I'll do this one. Thank you so much, Mike, for the trade. This one is definitely gonna get built and I really appreciate it, man. And by the way, all these guys that I'm talking about, I will link to all of them down in the description so you can go check out their channels. Now, have you ever gone to the hobby shop and just find that hidden gem sitting on the shelf somewhere? That happened to me. I went to Hobby Town in Hearst, Texas, went in there thinking I was going to get one jar of paint and then walk out. Had my family waiting in the car. I was supposed to be in there about five minutes. But I'm sure it's a rule somewhere that when you go into a hobby shop, you can't just go in, get your paint and leave. You have to at least look at the shelves. So while I'm looking, something catches my eye. I'm like, what is that? That would be the Tamiya. Aston Martin DBS kit. I'm like, they gotta be asking like 200 bucks for this kit. So I pull it off the shelf and since it's open box, I'm sitting there going through it to make sure it's got everything. And I just, I couldn't believe it. So I had to buy it that day. So as I'm looking through it, going through the checklist in my head, decal still in there in the plastic, metal transfer still in there, still has the original photo itch that it comes with. This thing barely looked used at all. I don't think anybody really did anything to it. There was a couple parts fell off the tree. But as you can see here, everything is still in bags for the most part. Couple sprues are out. I think the parts that are off might have just fallen off the trees. The body is in good shape. Everything's there. So this kit is definitely becoming kind of a hard kit to find at a decent price. So I had to grab it while I was there because it was a decent price. And you know what? I never did get the paint I went in for. I was so excited about getting this. I just, I grabbed it, ran to the register and left. And then a little bit of icing on the cake. It also came with a detail upset. So I was shocked to find this stuff. And just as a little example, I'll pop up a sample from eBay of what these kits are going for. And then I'll show you what I paid for it. 60 bucks seems like a lot of money for a model kit. But when they're going for, on average, 200 bucks or more, 
60 bucks with the detail upset didn't seem too bad so i had to walk out of there with this one so that's all i got for you today i'm going to link to all those other channels down in the description feel free to like and subscribe thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next video